The pathogenesis of Crohn's disease is thought to include both environmental and genetic factors. People with HLA-DR1 and DQW5 are at increased risk of developing Crohn's disease. It is commoner in Northern Europe and USA than in Southern Europe, Africa, South America and Asia. And Ashkenazi Jews are also more affected by Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is also commoner amongst smokers. Crohn's disease typically affects the terminal ileum with skip lesions throughout the bowel. It is a relapsing condition tending to affect females between the ages of 20 and 60. The pathological features of Crohn's disease include transmural fissures, ulcers and granulomas producing a cobblestone appearance. This is the typical cobblestone appearance for Crohn's. Here you can see a linear ulcer caused by Crohn's disease. This is the microscopic appearance of a fissure caused by Crohn's disease. This biopsy from a patient with Crohn's disease shows a well-formed granuloma coming into view on the left side of the picture. When granulomas are present, they may also be found in the lymph nodes. Complications of Crohn's disease include intestinal obstruction due to strictures and adhesions, perforation and abscesses due to fissures, carcinoma and bleeding. Malabsorption can occur in Crohn's disease, particularly after there has been extensive resection of small bowel. Other complications include anal fistulae, fissures and skin tags. On this x-ray you can see the severe stricturing caused by Crohn's. This shows the typical severe narrowing of terminal ileum by Crohn's. When a section of the bowel is examined down the microscope, you can see the gross thickening caused by fibrosis and inflammation. And finally, this is the typical appearance of an area of ulceration caused by Crohn's disease.